It is time for your main event here on your Thursday night edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 51. The Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, set for one-on-one -on -one action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. We want to take you back to two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw where the Intercontinental Championship situation really escalated to a new and unnecessary level. A brawl breaking out, evidently in the gorilla position, bleeding out into the stage. And as you're about to see, Tommaso Ciampa taking things to, again, an unnecessary level, shoving the bruiser weight off of the stage on Monday Night Raw and down to the concrete below. And we have not seen the Intercontinental Champion since then. As you just saw, the matchup is still signed for Judgment Day. Tommaso Ciampa versus Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship. But Tommaso Ciampa has taken things way out of proportion ever since making his main roster debut the night after Extreme Rules. He wanted the Intercontinental Championship. He made his intentions clear. And he's done so by attacking Pete Dunne every chance he's gotten. And that has lead to Pete Dunne retaliating in several brawls between the two the last couple of weeks. And then, of course, as you just saw, Tommaso Ciampa up in the ante and shoving the bruiserweight off the stage. Pete Dunne a hard fall down on the concrete below. And evidently, Pete Dunne not going to be kept down by no man, by no attack, and will be on his way to Judgment Day to defend the Intercontinental Championship of the World. But here comes Tommaso Ciampa's opponent here this evening. He made his main roster debut a number of weeks ago right here on main event in a war versus the Celtic warrior Sheamus. The former NXT United Kingdom champion impressed greatly on that night and he is set for round number two on the main roster versus the Blackheart in moments. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya as we mentioned, a former NXT United Kingdom champion is going to be a force to be reckoned with here on the main roster. And just weeks after that brutal fight with Sheamus dragging off his back in action tonight against another man who fuels with brutality, the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, who's been on a violent mission the last number of weeks chasing the Intercontinental Championship. But before Ciampa can get his hands on the bruiserweight Pete Dunne, where it actually matters most at Judgment Day, when the gold's on the line, he's got to deal with Ilya Dragunov here tonight. And this should be yet another fight for the ages as we get set for your Thursday evening main event. This should be a hell of a matchup, as we mentioned. I'm sure Tommaso Ciampa is keeping Pete Dunne in the back of his head, knowing that he's got that Intercontinental Championship matchup approaching. And Tommaso, oh, wait a minute here. Tommaso Ciampa, drag it off. Watch your back, because Tommaso Ciampa doing what he's done multiple occasions and attacking his opponent from behind. Tommaso Ciampa not waiting for the bell, typical of the Blackheart, ever since he made his main roster debut, attacking Pete Dunne from behind, ambushing Dolph Ziggler, and out doing the same to Ilya Dragunov. Tommaso Ciampa doesn't give a damn who you are inside of that ring. He is on a mission to kick ass and win championships here on the main roster. And whether you like it or not, Tommaso Ciampa has made his intentions extremely clear week after week. Ilya Dragunov, I don't think is going to like that very well. So I don't think he's going to take that lion down. Dragunov getting back into the ring. Jacket and all, ready to fight the black court Tommaso Ciampa here. But Ciampa is unloading on his opponent here tonight. And dropping him with the neck breaker. Tommaso Ciampa coming out swinging, whether you like the man or not. Bleeds brutality inside of that square circle. And Dragunov is in trouble just a moment after this matchup has begun. An attack from behind on Tommaso Ciampa. Remember he scored a victory over Dolph Ziggler a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Ciampa's been definitely in a driver's seat the last number of weeks. Let's see if Ilya Dragunov tonight can knock Tommaso Ciampa down a few pegs. Dragunov looking good on the, off that maneuver. 
The invincible Ilya Dragunov right now. Crashing and burn as Tommaso Ciampa gets out of the way, but Tommaso Ciampa's got to realize tonight that he is in, isn't in there with any ordinary competitor. Dragunov held the NXT UK Championship for well over a year. And as we mentioned, he took the Celtic warrior Sheamus to the limit just a couple of weeks ago here on Main Event. Ilya Dragunov back in action here tonight. Not a newcomer to the professional wrestling scene, but a newcomer to the main roster and ready to work his way up the ranks to potentially being a future Intercontinental Champion, potentially a future WWE Champion. Only time will tell what the future holds for the invincible Ilya Dragunov. But right now, Tommaso Ciampa is trying to make sure that nobody's talking about Ilya Dragunov and everybody's talking about the Blackheart. Ciampa with the big boot taking the man off his feet. And you gotta wonder what's been in the head of the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Now he's been home resting, luckily no serious injuries, but obviously beaten up after taking the fall off the stage a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure Pete Dunne is just chomping at the bit to get his hands on the current number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. He's gonna get that opportunity coming up at Judgment Day. And we know the Intercontinental Championship is the sole focus and will be on the line on that night and that is the reason for Tommaso Ciampa's attacks. It really isn't a thing, at least we assume against Pete Dunne, it's more just about Tommaso Ciampa taking advantage of who's the one holding the gold and putting his focus on becoming the Intercontinental Champion. But you know for the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, this goes further than just the Intercontinental Championship, which is oh so prestigious and means so much to Pete Dunne. But after taking that fall off the stage and weeks of attacks, you know Pete Dunne is seeking out retribution and seeking to put a beat down on Tommaso Ciampa on pay-per-view. Two different motives, two different men, but those two men are gonna come to a head and come to a screeching halt. What I'm sure is gonna be a Pier 6 brawl inside of that ring when we come to Denver, Colorado on Saturday night, September the 10th. But Ilya Dragunov here looking to tap out Tommaso Ciampa it definitely puts some bad memories in the mind of the black card. Tommaso Ciampa not one to risk defeat. As he's just coming up on that Intercontinental Championship matchup. And Ciampa taking down Dragunov with the neck breaker. You gotta wonder what the condition of Ilya Dragunov is. It has been a few weeks since his matchup with Sheamus. But again, we talk about how brutal and hard hitting that matchup was. Anytime you're in there with somebody of the caliber of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, you're never going to be feeling that one for quite a bit. But Dragunov's looking good in this contest, taking the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship off his feet. And Dragunov looking to pick up the victory here, and he may do just that over Tommaso Ciampa, but Ciampa will get that shoulder off the canvas. And Ciampa, Ciampa may just got his night lights knocked out there, excuse me, Alien Dragunov with the uppercut out of nowhere. Catching all of us off guard, almost Defeating Tommaso Ciampa there. The Blackheart, his momentum almost went up in smoke in the blink of an eye as now Dragunov is really starting to feel things. An uppercut, two clotheslines in the corner, and the momentum is clearly in the corner of the Invincible One here tonight, but there's the Blackheart with the knee to the face. Now, Tommaso Ciampa, who looked to slow things down as Dragunov is looking to pick up the pace. And now the beatdown commences from the Black Heart. Tommaso Ciampa so brutal, so vicious, so violent from bell to bell inside of the ring. Any means necessary is the motive of Tommaso Ciampa to win matches and get championships inside his WWE career. A backbreaker, a simple yet effective maneuver by the Black Heart, Tommaso Ciampa. Now gonna whip the Invincible one off, and you see the damage starting to play a toll on Dragunov throughout this contest. Not able to hold himself up in the corner. A crash and burn, and Tommaso Ciampa is in firm control of this contest, but don't count out the former NXT United Kingdom champion into the cover, no, into the bridge, not into the cover. And Dragunov has got something in mind, goes for the chop, Ciampa counters, Ciampa grabs a hold, goes behind, German suplex on the Invincible. As these two men beat the hell out of each other in our main event tonight, we remind you 
yet again that the Judgment Day pay-per-view will be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday night, September the 10th. Eight matches signed, five championships will be decided. AJ Styles versus Bobby Lashley. The World Tag Team Championships between the Mysterios and Priest and Dijakovic. What about the other tag team matchup on hand? The no disqualifications, tornado rules. Murphy and Seth Rollins versus Jeff Hardy and RVD. Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Asuka for the Women's Championship. Ricochet versus Chad Gable for the Cruiserweight Championship. Austin Theory, Edge. WWE Championship's gonna be on the line. And of course, Tommaso Ciampa meets Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Gold. Dragunov back in control of this contest. What a chop. Dragunov, one of the hardest hitters we have here on the WWE roster. Across any brand, and Ciampa gonna lay it out off that back suplex from Dragunov. And Dragunov may have just knock the lights out of the black card here. He's looking up at the lights of the arena, but still has got some life left in him. Dragunov heading back into the corner. He could be searching for that uppercut. He was able to hit out of nowhere earlier and may have done the, done the job for Dragunov, enough to get the victory, but may have just been a little too early in this contest to put Ciampa away, and Tommaso Ciampa, you want to talk about putting somebody away, may have just broken the back of Dragunov here tonight, but the invincible Ilya Dragunov has still got life left in him. Dropping him right on the knees of the black heart Tommaso Ciampa. And I think Ciampa's pissed off now. Dragunov kicking out of one of Ciampa's best maneuvers. And now Tommaso looking to do some more damage. An elevated knee drop off the middle rope. Could be a knockout blow no matter which way you hit it. Now once again just whipping Dragunov off. And we've seen that a couple of times throughout this contest. Dragunov not even able to keep his body up off the attack of Tommaso Ciampa. But he's still fighting, still heart and soul left in the young man as he takes Tommaso Ciampa down. And what a matchup we got here today on main event. Win, loser, draw for Ilya Dragunov. He is showcasing for the second time here on the main roster. And he's going to be a force to be reckoned with inside of the squared circle. Ciampa going for the neck breaker, miscalculates it. And Ilya Dragunov is in the driver's seat of this contest. And a nice snapmare over the head. Dragunov's intestinal fortitude being tested here tonight. Showing how tough this young man is. Into the cover on Tommaso Ciampa again. And Ciampa gets the shoulder up. And you want to talk about Ilya Dragunov. How tough he is inside of the ring. And you want to mention his... NXT United Kingdom Championship reign that lasted over a year. How Dragunov became the NXT United Kingdom Champion in the first place, dethroning the once NXT United Kingdom Champion Walter. A man that Tommaso Ciampa was unable to defeat in his NXT career. Dragunov, however, was the man to put Walter down. That's just to show you how tough Dragunov is from bell to bell inside of the ring. And meanwhile, Ciampa taking things to the outside here. And Dragunov's down, and I don't know if any man is going to be able to get up from that onslaught from Tommaso Ciampa. And we know the Blackheart doesn't care how he gets his hand raised. Referee's at a count of six. Ciampa could be looking for the count out here. Referee's at a count of seven. Dragunov able to scrape his body off the ground and make his way back into the ring. But he's met with a knee right to the jawline by Tommaso Ciampa. But still the young man has got fight left in him. What a suplex there, taking the black card off his feet. Dragunov doing everything he can to defeat the number one contender tonight. You gotta imagine if Dragunov can defeat Tommaso Ciampa, that Ilya Dragunov's gonna be in line for a future Intercontinental Championship opportunity, no matter who walks out of Judgment Day with the gold. Dragunov once again taking Ciampa down. Bringing the fight to the black card of the WWE. And I think Dragunov could be building up for that uppercut for the second time in this contest. But Ciampa had it scouted that time. Dragunov eats the canvas. And Tommaso Ciampa, very tail ending to his opponent here tonight. And if Ciampa hits that move at Judgment Day, he may be right in the final tail of Pete Dunne's Intercontinental Championship reign. You gotta give credit where credit's due. 
the invincible Ilya Dragunov once again showing up and showing out here on the main roster. He hung in there with Sheamus. He hung in there with Tommaso Ciampa. He may be 0-2, but that young man's got a bright future here in the WWE. But the story here tonight is the black heart Tommaso Ciampa, your current number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion, walks away with the victory. And will it be, wait a minute. The Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunn in the house and attacking Tommaso Ciampa. For the first time since he was shoved off the stage two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, the Bruiserweight is here and he's issuing his own bruising beatdown on the Blackheart who did the damage. You see the shoulder and the chest area taped up with the Intercontinental Champion, wearing the wounds of all the attacks from Tommaso Ciampa but well, we know how tough Pete Dunne is. He ain't gonna take one lying down. Oh, wait a minute, Tommaso Ciampa now. Knocking the Intercontinental Champion off his feet as these two men can't be kept apart ahead of Judgment Day. I didn't even know Pete Dunne was in the building here tonight in the black car, Tommaso Ciampa. I think it's gonna make the Bruiser White wish he wasn't here. Tommaso Ciampa laying out the Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunne was looking for a measure of revenge. Oh, wait a minute, could be looking for that fairy tale ending. I think the Intercontinental Champion's got something else in mind. Outrunning Champa, and may have just knocked his lights out with the clothesline. The Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, resurfacing here tonight, ahead of Saturday night, September the 10th. But who is gonna leave the Judgment Day pay-per-view? Your Intercontinental Champion. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.